this is a short video uh, making here some uh, tips and tricks for uh, using Moodle. This video is about just uh, inserting files, photos and links into a Moodle page. Um, I'm just going to start off here looking at a course and I'm just going to look at uh, a course I set up before, ESL BLT which is uh, we're just trying blended learning trial stuff here and um, we're going to try adding a few things into here. Now when you uh, open up Moodle and you uh, are looking there, first thing you need to do of course is think about where you're going to put your objects. Usually at the start you have the introduction, the first section is uh, telling you what course it is and you also have to decide what's going to go in the next bit. This one's a little bit of a mess at the moment. In another video, I'll talk about how we uh, prepare and create the uh, Moodle uh, content and plan this out. So at the moment, as you can see here, we've got uh, something on IELTS there. I've got three empty topic boxes, uh, and there's some other stuff I've added here. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put something into, let's say, topic two, which is blank at the moment. There are a couple of ways of doing this, but first of all, we turn the editing on. Okay, so we turn the editing on there. You notice it looks different straight away. The reason it looks different is because you can edit all of these parts on here. So the search forums, latest news, and so on. You can remove them too. Depends how much what you want the page to look like to a uh, certain extent. The bit at the top always stays the same. The Reading College part there, and you saw that sign that said drag and drop things. Okay, well, let's go to section two first of all. There we go, topic two. Now, um, let's just change the name of that because it's a bit boring. Let's change that to a uh, new section. So, do that and we just change the name. And like this. That should come up. Oh, no. Thanks, the Watsits. There we go. Call it new section. Just save the changes on there. So if we look down there, you'll see that when it comes down. There, you see it says new section. Now we're going to do it, uh, there's two ways we can add uh, activities or resources. What we could do first of all is drag and drop. That's the easy way of doing it in Moodle 2.2. I'll just move this out of here and I go to uh, my documents. Just minimize that a bit. I've got a few documents there that I might want to put in here. And all I do, very simple, is find the documents I want Let's just go down and zip along there. Let's say um, I'm going to do this exercise, which is an exercise on something there. Just move it along, drag, and you notice straight up it says add files here. There we go, and there it is. We can change the name of it if we like as well. We can edit the title and go uh, new exercise. Now this only drops in documents or photos and things. It, what it doesn't do is make an interactive exercise for you. It's a way of picking up a file there. And a lot of people use it like that, but obviously you want to make your content interactive. And in another uh, short video, I'll be showing you how you can do that too. Okay, there's the drag and drop way of doing it. You just pick it up, click, drag it over to the screen, and drop it in. The other way is to add an activity or resource. And when you do that, you'll notice that you have uh, several things you can do here. This comes up and it shows you the activities. And again, another video, I'll talk about a few of these things here. This is for assignments for students. You have a uh, part on journals, lessons, quizzes, wikis. And you can use all those to turn your uh, Moodle course into something much more interactive. Here we have books, files, folders, URL. So we can add a file in here. Okay, that's just what we did basically. So if I click on there, I'll add a file, and this time it does this. I beg your pardon, I've gone completely wrong there. <laughs> okay. No, I haven't, sorry. Uh, sorry, this recording software is being a bit silly. So the name is 
you say new thing, uh, it's new, it asks for a description, so you can see that actually this way is a longer way of doing it. Then we add the content, we go to add, this comes up, asks for the attachment, and we browse our pictures or our files. In the standard way we've got pictures here, uh, let's go to my documents, and I'll just choose something from here again. Uh, stop, and we go for oh yeah, English UK conference, there we go. Open that in there, we upload the file, and there it is. And save and return to the course. There we go, so that's done there. Okay, and if you go down here, you'll see, we go down the course. There it is, new thing, new exercise. So there's our sections there. We'll uh, add another activity. Well, in this case, we'll just put a URL. URLs are very simple. You just click on here, add. You notice, by the way, that information comes up there. The help section is very useful here. It uh, helps you to, um, well, guides you through Moodle. Uh, it can be a bit verbose, but it's uh, helpful to have a look at there. And external URL link will just do www.bbc.co.uk. There we go. Okay. Now you'll notice that the link name is that. Okay. And that's what will appear when we click OK at the bottom. Save and return to course. Here we go. And should find. at the bottom. Sit down there. There we go. The new URL. And if I clicked on that, that would take me to the BBC website. Right, so that's just very quickly how to add things there. We turn the editing off now. You see there. And just to check everything, what we can do is if we go to settings, you notice this comes up here. And if you go to switch role two, you can go to student. And this shows you what the screen will look like to your students. So this is a very good way of uh, making sure it looks nice. So this is the student view. This is how a student will see it when they click on there. And you see, that's what it looks like. Okay, that's a very quick introduction to uh, using uh, Moodle just to insert things there. Clearly you want to look at how we then make that uh, content interactive. So we'll look at that in another video. If you have any questions, you can contact me, Paul Gallantry. Uh, the easiest way is obviously on my uh, email account. So either paul.gallantry at reading.college.ac.uk or pjgallantry at gmail.com.